Last winter, I announced that I was making big changes in my business. I was getting my coaching certification and I was going to go from trying to help all the people with all the things to just working with women business owners on their mindset issues. After I emailed my list and told them about this big change, I got an email back from one of my readers. She told me that she needed to hear that message, that it was okay to pivot and change in your business. She said, quote, each change I think about making immediately triggers a feeling of failure. I could totally relate to what she was saying. So many of us, especially type A overachieving perfectionists, think we have to have everything figured out right from the jump. Like we have to state our goals definitively and then pursue them relentlessly, staying on a single linear path until we retire. And I do think it sounds a little silly when I say it out loud. And yet, so many of us feel that pull. Letting go of any goal that we've ever stated feels like some sort of failure, even if we set that goal when we were 22 and stupid. Today, I want to give you permission to make changes. In fact, I want to assure you that it's good to make changes. Changing course isn't a sign of failure. It's a sign of growth. I mean, if you die at 99 and haven't changed since you were 22, I'd call that failure. Stop doing what you think you should. Stop doing what feels wrong only because you once said it was what you wanted. You're allowed to change anytime, in any way. Make change your new marker for success. And if you're feeling the pull to make change but aren't really sure how to let go of the fears that are keeping you from doing it, I'd love to have you in my group coaching program. In just eight weeks, I'm going to help you overcome those limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck and keeping you from creating the life and business you really want. Go to beckymollencamp.com group to learn more.